conditioning, conformity, deprivation, aggression, eyewitnesses' memories. These are just some of the things psychologists have studied through laboratory experiments. So what exactly is a laboratory experiment? Well, the aim of an experiment is to go beyond just describing something and actually test out what's causing it. The method is to manipulate something called an independent variable to see if it brings about change in something else called a dependent variable. For example, a common way of trying to isolate the independent variable is by randomly dividing participants into an experimental and a control group, and then only apply the independent variable to the experimental group. And the laboratory is a closed environment, where the influence of other variables can, as far as possible, be kept constant. How obedient are we to authority figures? Well, in a study of obedience by Hoffling, real hospital nurses were given instructions over the telephone by a fake doctor to give some medication to a fake patient. In spite of the fact that nurses weren't supposed to take instructions over the phone, the dose was double the maximum limit, and it was not even on the authorized list of medicines. 21 of the 22 nurses in the study still obeyed the orders. This is an example of what's called a field experiment in psychology. Rural North Carolina. Researchers from Duke University were working there on a long-term study of mental health problems in a sample of nearly 1,500 children, about a quarter of whom were from the Cherokee Reservation. In 1996, during the study, the Cherokee Indians in North Carolina's Great Smoky Mountains opened a casino. But this was a casino with a difference. It was different because some of the profits from this casino were distributed equally amongst families on the reservation. And this lifted many of them out of poverty. And this was an absolutely fantastic opportunity for the researchers because this new money was independent of anything the families had done for themselves. So it was literally a brand new factor. And this gave the researchers, Jane Costello and her colleagues, a unique chance to test if ending family poverty had any effect on the mental health of the children. <laughs>